What is up, guys? Jesse one ninety seven here. Welcome to People Who Abuse Power, episode four. This time it is the social justice warriors. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Aren't those the same thing as feminists? Kind of. Feminists. I feel like they're different. I don't know why. I think it's because when I see a feminist, they always complain about females and what females do. And like social justice warriors, it's always about themselves and a lot of other people around them. So, and that's why I think that's the difference because I don't see anything else. So that's why I'm probably thinking social justice warriors are different than feminists. But today, I think this girl is one of those people because of the fact that this has to do with not just feminism and not just women in general but everybody and it's funny because you guys always watch these videos and you're like oh you know why is it always so old like two at least pro i think probably the high score is three years well this one is more relevant yeah and it's on a now this news on youtube and i think it's like four days ago I am making this when the video is four days ago, just so you know. And this girl basically said these quotes. Hey guys, is offensive. Now, guys in general are not offensive. That's not what she is trying to say. She's saying the phrase, hey guys, is offensive. What? How? So, I guess we can react to what she is claiming how it's so repulsive of a word to say to literally your peers and people around you. So let's just start it then. Hey guys, welcome back to Now This. <laughs> um, what the fuck, bro? Really? You really gotta show autism in the beginning? Guys is a simple term. It could mean boys, or if you're modern, hip, it means people. So... Why the fuck did you just say it was offensive if you literally just described what hey guys mean? You literally just told yourself that it means people if you're hip and modern. Like, bro, are you f- are you, are you just, What's the point of making the video if you already literally just made your point in the first 10 seconds? I'm not even joking either. This is only 10 seconds into the video, and they're already saying truth facts about the hey guy statement, and they're literally saying it means people, not just a guy. Bro, do you know what the fuck you even are saying, bro? Like, and it's funny because they're gonna rant, like, for four minutes? Are you kidding me? Like, bro, you already just jinxed your stuff right there. You already know for a fact that this isn't nothing to be offended about. At first glance, guys seems inviting, friendly, maybe warm, even comedic at times. But it, like many male default terms, should not be normalized as an all-encompassing phrase, innocent as it may seem. Wait, we're normalizing... We're not normalizing shit. Can you shut the fuck? Okay. So basically, what this person is saying, when we say, hey guys, we're ignoring all all of the other sexes and genders but you know what's really funny is that she literally said being the first 10 seconds that this means people while we may understand the word means no real harm with a deeper look you'll understand that we've been ignoring the cognitive impact on women as well as gender non-conforming folks by only explicitly addressing the male identifying individuals present oh my god are you fucking retarded you literally just said the word was not harmful and now you're gonna say oh but it is harmful now like you can't change your ways like you can't change to saying oh it's bad and then say all of a sudden it's good like what she's literally jumping she's going it's bad it's good it's bad it's good like D just pick a side or don't pick at all. If, apparently we're not only just literally offending women and all these other sexes, but like now they're offending all the males because they're saying that male identity individuals is present. But it's funny because in the little clip they just showed when they said that, notice in the fucking middle there's a black woman how the fuck are you going to say that it's really offensive i mean you did say 
it's only present for the males. But it's funny because when you said only the male identity, you should have just shown all males, not just males and a woman. That's just weird as hell. I don't know about anyone else, but that's kind of making you look like a dumbass guys has changed over time. According to the Washington Post, etymologists believe it began in the 17th century with a guy named Guy Fox, a participant in the failed 1605 gunpowder plot. He only barely escaped a brutal execution by jumping off a scaffold and breaking his neck. For the next few centuries, those who likened him in fashion, appearance, or intellect were referred to as guys. Wait, so what you're saying now is a history lesson. Okay, that's good that you actually did research. Most of these dumbasses don't do any research. But you know what's really funny? That she's saying guys is men and then then say people. But when she goes this, I mean, it is a man, but that's his name. So just because he's a man and guy is his name, you're going to say that guys means men. But you literally just said they literally go to their peers and call them guys just because of that dude to worship him. Now you just put history in your video, then you just became really stupid on your other quotes in the beginning saying how it's racist, it's sexist, like it's all this. And you literally just went to history and literally looked this up and guys doesn't even mean a boy or men at all. Eventually, according to the Boston Globe, the term broadened to describe creepy people, then to a generic term for men, and now, some would say, a gender-neutral phrase. What the fuck? Okay, so you're saying creepy guy was men. What? Bro, get your dumb ass out of here, you stupid social justice warrior trying to say that this is all offensive to literally everyone, trying to be really like a fucking warrior or whatever the hell you think you are. Get the hell, just shut up. And no one thinks that creepy people are gender neutral phrase. Like, what? Bro, no one thinks that's a phrase to say for gender neutral. Like, sure, you might be messed up in the head, but you're not fucking creepy. You know what the creepy people are? Or the people that stalk little kids or people who make little kids swear in their videos to get profit for t-shirts. You, you understand now what you're saying. Like, now you're saying, like, no one even said that. I never even heard anyone, not even on YouTube for a joke. Nobody has ever said the creepy people are gender neutral. Like, I'm, I know, probably people know Birdman. Not even Birdman would fucking say that. Like, come on, you fucking pieces of shit. Are you really that retarded? You can't even freaking understand your own video claims. You literally, ju you j literally just not proved your point. Then you proved how guys is actually a fucking good thing. And now you're trying to make it as like it's a bad thing when you never even had a single thing bad about it yet decades we have set a standard of only addressing the men in the room. Of course we claim it's colloquial, but with our elevated knowledge and inclusive perspective, it just seems lazy, inconsiderate, and a small part of what reinforces the gender hierarchy today. How the fuck is it lazy? Now they're saying like, they're only addressing men in the room, but you literally just had history. Now you're- now I actually am correct. They're actually just saying, you know what, we're just gonna ignore everything we just said in the past, and now we're gonna make it try to see- it, seem if it's, like, offensive. Like, dude, you literally just said, guys doesn't even mean men in general. You literally just said it was people. Then he went on a history saying that was the guy's name, and his name is Guy, <laughs> and he's a man. Just because he's a man doesn't mean guys mean men. It actually means people like you just said. And now you're saying that it's lazy, and it's literally harming all the other gender people that aren't men. Like, no. How is one to feel empowered to speak or assert themselves when upon greeting, they're misgendered or even ignored in language? Can we be surprised that for decades, women often felt uncomfortable asserting their voice when we didn't even take the time to properly acknowledge them? Now she's trying to say, like, there's, this isn't even supposed to be for guys anymore for saying, hey guys, this is literally just saying now that men are ignoring women 
but that's in the past, dumbass. The reason why you didn't have a voice was probably because of this. And not to be rude or anything, but since you said the past, yes, it happened in the past, but also, too, we did have a say for you because if we wanted to marry you, why the fuck would we treat you like shit? Like, no woman felt uncomfortable having a voice in anything. The only reason why they probably did was because they spit stupid stuff like you into a video and now they're gonna get so much hate for it. That's the only thing here that actually is scary for women. These linguistic tendencies were developed and reinforced in eras where women were barely meant to be seen and certainly not heard. Okay, can I, I really wanna stop bringing the history but she's doing her own research and now she's saying like women were only meant to be looking pretty and not heard. That doesn't make any sense due to the fact that you're literally quoting movies and your little clips and of course movies are gonna do that. I don't even want to be in the new times. I would rather go where fucking America wasn't even found yet. Because of this shit's going on. Actually, wait, hold up, because I just realized something. If women did not have a say, why the fuck were there queens? This whole history lesson just got into me. If women were only supposed to be not heard, and were supposed to be looking pretty, then why did the queens come in? I think we all know Queen Elizabeth's, like, come on, man, there, that's been a tradition. I think we had the third right now, I'm believing. So, like... Now you're just pulling shit out of your ass. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even look this up either. I, that just popped out of my head. I was literally going to say something else where I should live in the past. And I just realized that king and queens were a thing. And queens were basically really great rulers as well. And they were right next to the man. Please note. You're not a bad feminist if you're comfortable with using the phrase, guys. There are larger issues that we, the feminists, need to combat. Reproductive rights, rape culture, violence against women, LGBTQ rights, and the general reprogramming of most people's minds when it comes to the valuation of women in society. Wait, hold up. Do you listen to yourself? Do you, who wrote the script? I, I really want to say this is a joke, but I don't think so. Because this now is just, oh my god, she's literally so retarded to the point where it's hard to even roast her. Because, like, she's already doing it to herself. She's already, like, making her points more idiotic and just stupid. She literally just proved the point, saying that they could do way better stuff. Like, are you kidding me? And now she wants to say, that's how we reprogram people's minds. That That is why no one trusts you, feminists, or any women in general trying to do this because if you're saying that that's actually more scary than ever because now you're saying like we're gonna reprogram them so they can do all this shit so we can actually make them do like no but when you stop valuing the personhood and visibility of individuals you make it easier to dehumanize them on a macro scale minimizing his her, it's their right to respect and equality. Well, no, we're not, bro. Listen, you said it yourself. And is this a fucking cayenne? Please let me know. Is this fucking Dan? Please let me know. Is this fucking Mickey Mouse? Please let me know. Why are these people fucking retarded? You literally just said it in the beginning. Why the fuck do you need to be retarded? I don't understand. And it's funny because the people I said in the beginning, they're fucking smarter than you. Are you literally, uh, what is your brain cell limit? Mine is a fucking zero, but yours is a fucking negative 1000. We're not discriminating no one. And it's funny because the video clip that they fucking showed has a black dude and a white dude shaking or dabbing up whatever with two girls even in the fucking conversation as well how is this even considered that you should have just shown something like that but no you can't because there's no actual evidence about this because hell nobody does this at least in the majority of it probably there's like a minority of people who do do that but that's because they probably live in a certain area you know you, you just can't show that in a video because you're cuckoo. I'm not offended, per se, if someone lumps me in with the guys. I'm sure there's really no malintent. Wait, so why the fuck are you making this video then if you're not offended? You literally just ran on saying how it's so offended. And then you're like, I'm not really offended. It's just like, I'm, 
I like it. It's just, I don't know. What, like, no. You you just said it's nothing personal. You just said feminists can worry about more. You just said that guys is a dude's name, that he died, and they say that to worship him. Guys meaning people. And now you're saying that you're not offended. Mystery solved, you're a fucking dumbass. In fact, if you and your friends want to freely address each other, by all means. I just want you to know that you're one small step away for making a more conscious effort to dismantle the patriarchy. There we go. And let me remind you that she just said destroying the patriarchy and only a dumbass would say that and a feminist, but she is to a social justice warrior because she's saying everyone, usually feminists only care about women. This bitch, she's doing literally everyone thinking that it's okay and like, she thinks she's doing a great job, right? Right? No, she's not doing a great job. In fact, she's doing a horrible job at it. I mean, first of all, who the fuck would wear that shirt? Second of all, what the fuck is that haircut? Third of all, what what the fuck is wrong with your whole demeanor right there? And it's funny because patriarchy has nothing to do with this. Like you just said, guys doesn't mean fucking men at all you're just putting this in because the guy's name was guy which means he's a man so because he had his name is guy and he's a man you say it's a guy which is man so now you're gonna say that's be men equals guys but you just said guys equals people i don't know what the fuck you're trying to say anymore don't believe me try walking into a room full of cisgender heterosexual men and triumphantly announce Hey gals, okay girls, thanks sis. I'm sure within 10 minutes, if not seconds, at least one person will correct you. I am certain that this dumbass has no brain. Well, let's let's requote that, what the fuck you just called men. Cisgender, heterosexual men. What the fuck? No, we're not. In fact, she's literally like, oh, for all those dumbass asshole patriarchy cisgender heterosexual men who literally just go in the room and just say hey gals hey how you doing no one gives a fuck and in fact you don't even know shit because let me remind you coaches literally say this okay girls let's go do some football is that all you got i i literally see that not even just the movie but literally real life as well that's a motivation for you to pick it up because you're acting really weak. I mean, it might sound sexist, but it just, I don't know. I mean, you literally are saying it to yourself. You just said guys mean people, and now you're saying this. So I don't think it matters if I say girl, hey girls meaning weak because, bro, just look at your fucking brain right now. Actually, get an x-ray first. That's how you're gonna see what's wrong with your body then go to your brain and maybe you'll see that there's probably something wrong with you because you can't just say this shit and get away with it like there's no way in fuck like i'm guaranteeing you if you say that shit in front of people if in 10 minutes with not even seconds someone's gonna correct you we should all be as protective of our gender identities as a cisgender heterosexual man Wait, what the fuck did you just say? Really? We should all be protective of our gender identities as a cis gender. Wait, did you just make fun of them and now are you? I don't know what this quote is. I'm going to say that she's actually saying that they're good now because that's basically what she's been doing like this whole video. And it's no surprise there's a fucking pattern at all because I mean just it's confusing as fuck already as it is the here's the thing if this is the funniest thing where she's like it's all the other genders and everything it's literally making everyone else fucking look like shit but then she goes and makes fun of another sex actually a sex a gender i don't know cis gender is a i don't know what that is but i don't give a fuck because it doesn't really matter because she's already making fun of a gender as a whole and it just seems like a word they made up just so then they can put more words to describe a patriarchy which is fucking stupid as it is you just proved your point and then you just 
knocked it down so many times that every time you try to rebuild, you just destroyed it. Like, there's no point of going back. There's no point of fixing it because it's already posted and you can't delete it because look how much people already watched it like and reacted to it on youtube there's no point for you to just start anew your life is already over i'm sorry but it you shouldn't have never did this video in the first place we deserve it so what can you do substitute one hey guys with a symbol good morning everyone hi y'all folks everybody scholars Team if you're at work, campers if you're in the forest, bay hive because it's always appropriate. You can also just find ways to insert people's names and address everyone present. And when in doubt, say nothing at all. Hey. Works. I challenge you to take an extra 0.5 seconds to think about what comes out of your mouth before you say it. Somewhere along the way, hey, you may slip a guy out or two, but thank you in advance for trying. So she wants us to just not say guys at all. She just wants us to say all this dumb shit that, like, I bet, I'm betting you that this has nothing to do with hey guys. It's just wanting attention or she just wants to do something to look like she's a good person. Social justice warrior definition and... It's just weird that she's like, you might slip out a guy or two, but thank you so much for trying. It's like, but you just said it was offensive. So if you did slip it out, someone's going to get offended and get so much triggered that they're going to literally make your life a living hell, right? And it's funny that she's like, just say, hey, if nothing works. The thing is about that, I don't know if anybody else knows about this, but every time someone says, hey, they don't know who the fuck you're talking to. Like, like at times, even too, if you're like really mad, you just say, hey, someone might think that you're actually like pissed off at them or you want to fight them. I don't know if anyone else knows that. I don't know how that works. And what the fuck is this quote again? Bay high? It's always appropriate. What the fuck? I'm going to look this up because I'm telling you, I've never heard somebody ever say that in real life and i bet you the only people who do are feminists because like no one ever even said this at all and it's funny because bayhive i looked it up and it's not even a word it's just a band so you're basically telling people to come up to people and say bayhive you can say that all of this is silly or too pc but there are always larger societal implications of language the way we use it and weaponize it. Face it, the things we do and say matter. So if you do nothing else, repeat after me. I am powerful. Sadly, that is where the video ends, but it's funny. Okay, so let me get this straight. So basically you just said that it's silly or too PC, but it is, but it even says that we should the ways to weaponize it what the fuck does that even mean bro are you trying to say like we should use these things as weapons like that's actually does not make any sense and kind of that kind of feels scary and they're saying what we do and say matter well yeah it does matter but not like what you're trying to prove what you're saying is just it's just like why like there's no point for it at all this doesn't affect anyone like I'm telling you, nobody has ever been offended by this. You're the probably the first one who is. And now you're going to have this hate wagon about let's ban hey guys when no one was ever offended but yourself. And saying, I am powerful. I'll say it just for you. I am smarter than you because I'm not a fucking retard. But I am also powerful. There, do you think that that was good because i think that was actually really good i'm done this bitch needs some mental help thank you guys for watching click that like button down below if you want all these social justice warriors and feminists to stop the bullshit and click that dislike button if you actually agree with this because if you hit that dislike button you're also a dick and you probably are just a eugene wanting this girl i don't know why you do because they, i i haven't, honestly have no idea but I, I mean, whatever, I guess dumbasses is your type of um, women, I guess. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. 
I am Jesse197, and I am so not abusing my power. Like, I am so not. This is, like, abusing power. I am not. So I'll see you guys later, and I'm going to see if I can go and play Gears of War 4 with anyone before everyone goes to Gears 5. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to know this. My